Welcome to Gamer's Platform. Oh, God. God. Man. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Oh, baby! Look at that! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Adam Wolf from Gamer's Platform. I should say good morning. And, uh... Today, we've got another reaction trailer. The Jedi Fallen Order trailer is finally out. It came out yesterday on Saturday, April 13th, during Star Wars Celebration. And I can't wait. I'm super excited. Uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be exciting. This is really exciting for me because it's being done by Respawn Entertainment. Uh, the guys who made Titanfall and recently Apex Legends. Uh, they're one of my favorite developers. They're at least a developer that doesn't suck. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that's a, you know, it's a pretty low bar these days. But um, they've been teasing the crap out of this game forever. It's a single player, story driven uh, Star Wars game. And I'm kind of curious to see what exactly they've been coming up with and uh we'll get to uh some extra details later but let's get to the trailer it wasn't always like this but now there are three rules to survive don't stand out now my question is, is it going to have any gameplay or is it all cinematics? <coughs> Excuse me. It'd be awesome if it had some gameplay, but I highly doubt it. Also, grab a drink. Trust. No one. Galaxy's changed. Okay, so he's part of a salvaging team. He just showed that he had some he had powers. He's a Jedi and he wasn't supposed to Oh no way they got their signature wall running in it. That's so sick. Except the past. Execute order sixty-six. Order sixty-six. Okay, Spider-Man. <laughs> Ooh, that, that looked bad. Trust only in the Force. Nice. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's sick, man. This year, baby. That's awesome. This year. I mean, I heard about that before, but uh, that, oh, that that was better than most movie trailers, man. I mean, this is why I love this company, man. They, they're passionate. They make these things just the way they want them to be. Now, keep in mind, as far as I understand, first of all, can I just say right here? Look at that. Oh, yeah. I did a little research before I started this video. <clears throat> it's being built on Unreal Engine 4, which, by the way... Nice choice, Respawn. That's a great engine. Uh, it's a gorgeous engine. It makes games look amazing. Um, now, that brings up a question. Because it's being built on Unreal Engine 4, we're under the assumption that all EA developers have to use Frostbite. But does that rule pertain to people who are only partnered with EA, not owned by EA? As far as we know, Respawn is partnered with them. I was pretty sure they bought them, but then again, you know, that's when I, I, I found out that they, uh, you know, because they were, um, what was, what was, there was a moment where I, I found out that they were partnered instead of owned by EA. Thank God they're not owned by EA, but that's definitely surprising. So that kind of like brings to question that whole 
frostbite engine required claws that they have for all their developers. I think it's kind of sleazy because frostbite engine isn't the be all end all, okay? It's a great engine, but it's only built for shooters. It really is predominantly built for shooters. That's why DICE built it for their shooter. <laughs> and it's being used in racing games and sports games and RPGs, stuff it was never built to do. And so it's nice to see Respawn not, I mean, here's the thing. I think they can make any game look good on the Source Engine. I mean, that's just, the Source Engine is tried, true, and tested, and that damn engine is fantastic at what it does. But it does make your games look dated, and so it's nice to see them kind of break out and use a different engine, but an engine that is very compatible with what they want to do. The Unreal Engine has been used to make multitudes of different games. That's why, that's why developers use it, because it's so versatile. Um, <clears throat> And Unreal Engine 4 is a great, great choice. Uh, I'm loving, I'm loving the graphics here. Obviously, this is a lot of cinematics. Now, they didn't say that it was game engine footage. I don't, and if they did, I missed it. But I don't, I don't think any of this was game. And uh, I'm not sure if any of this was gameplay. Um, it did look like it had a hint. Um, I like the reflections here. This is another thing. Is it going to have real time ray tracing built in? We don't. Obviously, we don't know yet. But that'd be pretty cool. I'm just gonna skip ahead. But this was better than some movie trailers, man. That is that is awesome. I did not see the new Star Wars Nine trailer. I don't watch movie trailers anymore. They they spoil too much. They <clears throat> they give too much away. This is perfect. It's literally like the whole video is two and a half minutes, but it's only like maybe two minutes of the game itself, but it gives you just enough to really kind of like, you know, get invested in what you're seeing, but not too much to where it's like, well, now I know the whole story. <clears throat> I know who's going to be in it. I know who lives. I know who dies. I hate trailers like that. Um, it does look good. It does look really good. I, I like the, I like the presentation here. Um, it does seem as though, I mean, as you could see, it does seem as though it might have um, some sort of, if this is in engine, <clears throat> some sort of reflective, uh, maybe, maybe some sort of ray tracing, but that can be done in in uh, cutscenes. So, and again, I'm not gonna hang up on the ray tracing. It's it's not everybody likes it, and I think it's fascinating personally, just because from a technological standpoint, it's very impressive. But from a gameplay standpoint. Until they work the kinks out, it's not really a good idea. Um, but I love the lighting. The character definitely... Oh, that's diff. I didn't see this before. Look at that. Look at that. He's got a scar going down this way. I wonder... I really hope they touch on that. Like, they, fig they tell us what's going on here. <clears throat> but I think it's interesting how... This really has something to do with the Jedi just not existing anymore. So this is really cool. Um, I wonder if this is canon, first of all. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not like one of those in-depth Star Wars fans. I love the movies. I, I love the story. But I'm not one of those in-depth people where it's just like, oh, is this is not canon or this is, you know. But I am curious as to whether or not um, any of this has to do with uh, the, the main, <clears throat> the main story of Star Wars. But I hope they explain this. I actually didn't catch that before. That's 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 got to have a story behind it right there. Um, so basically, he's he's a Jedi trying to lay low, um, taking up a spot in a in a mining uh, a salvaging company of some sort. And then this is where he kind of reveals himself to be a Jedi, so he could save his friend but you see in the background i caught this while i was watching <gasps> a sentinel not good not good they caught him i dude i love the motion blur i like it look at that you can see it right here i know that might actually be a depth of field but uh <coughs> you can see this is where he was moving his hand i'm a huge fan of motion blur depending on the motion blur um, camera motion blur, if it's done, if it's not so heavy, I actually really enjoy it. It's a nice little touch. 
per object motion blur. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to understand the difference. I got to look this up. I, I think I did one day and I just I couldn't find anything. But the difference between per object and per pixel motion blur. Um, the guys at Digital Foundry, they obviously know the difference. I don't know the difference, but that that to me looks like per object motion blur. So like if he are you playing if you're playing him in game and he's moving any part of his body that moves will be blurred out. Um, but it adds this sense of realism to the game for some reason. Um, you know, our eyes perceive a lot of things and uh, most of the time we don't notice it because we're just used to it like this. This, I, I can see it blurring, but only because I'm concentrating on it. If I did that, you know, you know, wave my hand in my face on a daily basis, I don't notice it because it's, uh, it's not important. Um, but it's just really cool how just subtle effects like that can actually really enhance the enhance the quality of the game and the realism of it. But I'm just clicking in all the black screen here. <laughs> um, now this guy here, I don't know what uh, I'm sure that they've said when this takes place. Um, I didn't find that. And I don't know if this is going to be part of, like, these guys are part of the First Order, or are they part of a new empire, or something like that. Um, is this a separate story, or is it part of the main story? I'm not entirely sure. Um, they probably have said at some point. See, there's, the more, there's more motion blur here. You can see it's pretty heavy in this scene. <clears throat> I, I'm so happy that they brought in the wall running that they that they created in Titanfall into this. That's gonna make this so much better. I I don't know what it is about wall running. I just really like it. <laughs> it's really when when respawn did it, they did it well, and they made it a lot of fun to use. And I'm I'm happy that they've actually taken that concept and brought it over into yet another game that I have no doubt is going to be. A great game I was gonna say phenomenal but I have to I have to be reserved okay this is fanboy me speaking out you know because I love respawn entertainment I think they're one of the last great companies that we've got okay because <laughs> they brought out in my opinion one smash hit after another Titanfall 1 was fun as hell Titanfall 2 was even better now Apex Legends is a blast and although the season pass all right season pass was not good the first season was not good. Um, it's still, they have time to improve that. I mean, you know, uh, it's just, they, they got to feel it out, you know. Um, and now they're working on a dedicated single player story driven Star Wars game, which might I add, EA said they didn't want. But here is an EA published game. Maybe they finally would just like, yeah, uh, people hate us because we said some things if you could like make a game that kind of just drives them back in that direction that'd be great thanks for saving our ass that's basically what i'm seeing here is that ea is now like eating their own words and they're actually looking to have somebody somebody dig them out of this humongous ditch that they've put themselves in and this if this is a hit this will be the second time Respawn, Respawn, an indie indie title or indie developer, technically indie developer, has dug their asses out of a hole. Apex was the first. With this game, I have, I, oh man, I have good feelings from this, man. This is a good trailer. It's a good trailer. So, <clears throat> you know, EA's really turning, turning to Respawn to make them look good. And I don't know if that's good or bad. That's bad on EA's part because they know they've screwed up big time. <clears throat> um, this is actually really, I like the look of this. It's all red. I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> that, oh, there you go. I think we got our answer. That's the first order symbol, if I'm not mistaken. So we're dealing with the first order then. So this definitely, it, it, I, I think this might have something to do with the main storyline because that's the first order symbol if like i said if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure it is <clears throat> it's like a it's like an entire 
this must be like the the ship shall ship salvage ship salvage ship salvage area that'd be creepy <laughs> to see some dude just latch onto your ship and just be like i'm gonna get in <laughs> i'm gonna get you but i kind of had a feeling it was first order just based on the helmet design and and the you know i mean the empire didn't have lights in their helmets so <laughs> they didn't have the budget <laughs> they weren't with the rgb crowd um and there is I don't know if it's the exact one, but it's similar to um, the lightsaber we saw in the teaser GIF. All right, let's be honest. It was a GIF. Uh, it was a nice looking GIF, but it was a GIF nonetheless. <clears throat> I think that might actually be similar. There's the scar again. But, uh, you know, the game, the game just looks great. I, the, I I love depth of field. If it's used properly, it pulls focus to the the, the right uh, character, the right part of the scene, and I, I love this. I love it. Again, don't know if this is in engine. I have to assume it might be, but I do think that even this little uh, fight scene here, it does look a bit like gameplay, a little bit, but like more like an in-game cutscene as opposed to a, a pre-rendered one. <laughs> But I doubt it'd be pre-rendered even these days, uh, you know, since uh, engines are so powerful, they can do in in engine cutscenes and real time cutscenes and stuff. And so, um, ah, I love the purple, man. That is so cool. This is this is just a good looking game so far. If if this is like, if this is what the game is gonna look like, that's awesome. Uh, let me just uh, there's a scene. There's a, there's a cut here. That's not the cut that I wanted, but uh, I was pretty sure that they, they had a nice little backdrop. There. There. So, <clears throat> I wonder if they're on Endor. I doubt, I doubt Endor. Okay, we're, I don't think we're going to revisit any of the old planets, but that looks very much like Endor. You know, it's got it's very, you know, foresty area, rainforest in the background. Um, so it's probably a planet like Endor, but it'd be cool if they actually revisited some of the older planets. I mean, that's, that's where the majority of the original trilogy took place. Um, <clears throat> but I, I love the look of this game. It's just... It's going to be... I, I have a good feeling about this. I think Respawn Entertainment is the one company that can do things right these days. Or one of the few companies that can do things right these days. That guy's creepy. Just hopping on people's aircraft and just breaking their, their windows. Like, come on, dude. That's expensive. It's like he's waving. Hi. Oh, man. I like the design, though. The design is... I mean, this is menacing. This guy... He might be skinny as hell, but he is menacing. If he could just hop on your ship and just wave at you, yeah, a bit menacing. Um, anyway, so that's that's my take on it. I know that these reaction videos are supposed to be like technical based, and I try to get it in there. I'm not, I'm not a pro at this. You know, I'm not an expert on you know graphical design and and uh, and techniques and all this other stuff. But uh, you know, I try to pick out some things that I can. But again, I don't think that this is in-engine footage. It might be in-engine. I don't know. But it's definitely a lot of cinematics. It, it, it seems like a lot of cinematics um, and not a much gameplay, which is fine. This is what a teaser trailer is for. So this is, this is fine. But anyway, um, that's my take on this trailer. I think it's going to be great. I, I trust Respawn. Uh, they've gained my trust over the years. I've been a fan of theirs ever since Titanfall 1. And I, I trust that they can make a good a good Star Wars game. Okay? Not Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 remake. Okay? Garbage nonsense. I'm talking a good Star Wars game. We're talking like Knights of the Old Republic Star Wars. Okay? We're talking... Uh, um, 
Star Wars Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, uh, Jedi Outcast, those types of games, you know, good Star Wars games for the first time in years. It has been years since we've seen a good Star Wars game. And I mean, I'm talking even like Star Wars, Super Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Super Nintendo. Good. I, that was one of my favorite games growing up. So if if they can nail this, man, they are going to dig EA. They EA should be on their knees kissing their feet because now that douchebag is gone. Uh, Patrick Sodolin. Screw that guy. Seriously, screw him. Um, maybe, maybe EA will turn around and say, I guess people do like single player games. The evidence is there. God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, Spider-Man. Only, only huge blockbusters. A uh, little bit of a side note here. Uh, completely did not want to, uh, proceed with this editing until I got this out. I didn't realize this. Stig Asmussen is the director on this game. I... The guy directed God of War 3. I, I'm super excited now. I didn't realize that he had joined Respawn freaking five years ago. I I had no idea, but he's been working on this project. I that that blows me away. I'm that makes me even more uh excited and I, I now have a lot more faith in this game because he's one of the better directors that they had on on uh God of War. They they handed off the project to him in uh for God of War 3. Because before then it was David Jaffe, and in the second game, Corey Barlog hopped on as a co-director for God of War 2. And then they just handed the entire project off to Stig As Asmussen, and it, it it was a great game. It was a great game. I loved it, and I can't wait now because he's a, he's a great director, and I think they've got one of the best in the business. Um, I also found out that the writer uh, for Mafia 3 has now been on the, uh, is on the narrative team as well. And so, um, I actually liked Mafia 3, uh, its story was actually pre pretty good, uh, even though most people didn't care for the gameplay, it was actually a pretty good story, I, I enjoyed it personally. But yeah, just wanted to put that little, uh, tidbit in there, Stig Asmussen is the director for this game, and now I have just more faith in it, so, um, here's hoping that it is a good one. But anyway, if you guys got a chance to see this, what do you guys think of this trailer? Do you think EA has finally decided to go the route of maybe we should trust our developers and listen to the people or do you think this is just ea um hiring one of the developers to make them look good for a, a, an instant so that they can kind of get back in our good graces and then they'll just screw up again i mean i don't <laughs> i don't think they want to screw up they want to intentionally screw up but that that's what they're doing all the time um, so let me know what you guys think of the trailer in, in the comments below and uh, don't forget to like the video Dislike if you hate my face um, Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, until next time. I'm Adam Wolf. This was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order and I'll see you guys in the next one